Hey y'all, Melissa here. Um, as many of you know, Joe is gone for two whole weeks, so that means all the responsibilities of caring for the snakes falls to me. Uh, today, I'm hanging out with one of our favorite corn snakes. I named this one the brain, because it reminds me of the show Pinky and the Brain when I was a kid. Um, this one's gotten so much bigger. We got him when he was a little baby. Oh wait, I think she's a she, sorry. Um, but she's grown so much. But I have her today because one of my jobs that I have to do first for caring for the snakes is feeding all of our corn snakes. Now let me warn you, I've never fed snakes before. I watch Joe when he does it, but I scream most of the time. So this is gonna be very interesting. You're probably not gonna learn anything new about snakes, but you get to see me freak out. And Joe told me I should film it, so let's see how it goes. Um, I know some of them get pinkies, some of them get weaned something. I don't even know all the words. I'm hoping all the packaging says what I need to know, and I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride. Okay, wish me luck. So first let me say how these refrigerators really aren't good for um, mice packages, because if you notice, mice packages come in like big square things, and this is just doesn't work for it because it's very skinny. But Joe likes to keep his in the packages, so we made it work. You guys may keep yours in different stuff. I don't know. Um, but I know first, our female corn snake, and she's the one who just laid the eggs, by the way, she needs an adult mice. One adult mice. Mouse, mice, mouse. Yeah, this was a package of 25 adult mice, and I'm just getting one. And let me tell you, I'm feeling pretty brave right now. <laughs> I'm not comfortable with using my hands, Joe does. I'm using my handy dandy pliers and my handy dandy Tupperware and I'm putting it in here. Okay, so next our Annery female um, pet palmetto and our snow tester both need two hopper mice each. You can you read it? 25, nope, 50 hopper mice. Okay, I don't even know how to open this. I guess it's gonna be the scissors. Ugh, we'll see, okay. I don't know how to get these out. These don't have an easy tail to hold. They're not separated like the other ones. I'm not quite sure what to do. Also, if you hear that jinging in the background, that's their dog, Dixie. She's Probably interested at the smell of these mics. Okay, so let's see if I can get a tail separated. Oh my god, I don't like this. I don't want to pull the tail off by accident. Not really sure. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. This is probably not how you're supposed to handle these, but this is the only way you can go about not touching them. Okay, one out, three down. I mean, three to go. did it, it didn't die. I can do this, I can keep going. Okay. okay, so I know all the rest of the corn snakes, which are four of them, not including the sun glow, cause that one is just so picky, get um, two large, I say large, this isn't how large pinky, what is this? Is this a large pinky? I don't know. <laughs> two large pinkies, each 50. These are much easier, obviously. I'm just gonna kind of pour these, like I'm pouring cereal into a bowl. I don't know if that's a weird analogy or not, but Makes my head feel better. Okay, so we need eight. So obviously these are frozen and snakes don't want frozen animals to eat. So I have to defrost them and that means sink time in the bathroom. So I'm about to defrost the pinkies now. I'm thinking not scolding hot and do some lukewarm water 
see how long it takes. Obviously the smaller pinkies are gonna be faster than the mice, but I don't know how long it usually takes, Joe. It's all new things to me. Okay, let's see how it goes. So I think the pinkies are pretty defrosted, so let's give those a try first. Okay, so right now time for the third part. I guess this is the most exciting part. I don't know, to me I'm excited because that means I'm almost done. Okay, so I have my eight pinkies for my four corn snakes. I don't think it'll be bad, we'll see. I know Joe just uh, dangles it in front and waits till they wrap around it, so I hope they don't act any different than they do for him. Holy shit, that definitely scared me. Holy shit. I knew it was coming. I knew he's gonna wrap it around it, but just that feeling of when he grabbed it, holy shit, it still scared me. Okay, one down, seven to go. Okay, that one was a little bit less scary. Okay, so now two hopper mice each for the snow tessera and the Henry female head palmetto. Hopefully it goes as easy as it went with the other corn snakes, but you never know in the snake world. So I thought it was done, but Joe just called me. Why did I do that? I don't know why I feel the need to use hand dressers for everything. Okay. Uh, so Joe just called me and said that I need to feed the male hog nose, who I absolutely hate. His hog nose are so mean and they hiss and do all their shit all the time and they freak me out, um, but I have to feed it. And he said that you have to scent it in tuna, which I also hate tuna, so yay me. Um, but I'm planning to just drop it, close it, run away. Also, for the corn snake, I don't know why I was dangling it. I could have just dropped them in, closed them. They don't eat right away half the time anyway. I wasn't thinking, but I ended up dropping half of them in there by accident, so it kind of worked out that way. Also, Jill told me that I have to... Um, 
spoil a pinky for our little sun glow who is still not eating well I thought she was eating better clearly I was mistaken I don't know what the hell I'm doing boiling a pinky hopefully it doesn't explode on me I don't even know if that's actually possible but I'm a little worried about that I don't want it to get too I don't know what's going on so tuna scented pinky for the hog nose boiled pinky for the sun glow my brain's not working okay okay so now i'm going to defrost no large pinky for the uh, hog nose and scent it with this good old chunk light tuna because that sounds amazing chunk light so I've got this pinky, I've now defrosted, it, and I don't know how Joe sends them, but my logic says to pour some juice in there, and so that's what I'm gonna do. No idea if that's what I'm supposed to do. But Last but not least, a boiled pinky for the sun glow. Okay, so I'm done. All the snakes are fed. I didn't get bit. None of them escaped. They all got their food. Um, I call that a success. I probably didn't do it right, but that's I did it how my brain thinks. And that's okay. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope the next video I make will be of babies hatching and me putting the babies in their little Tupperware things. Who knows? We're on day like 85, no, I don't even know, day 90 maybe, but they need to come because <laughs> I'm anxious. Joe's texting me all the time asking me if they've hatched, like it's just crazy. But cross your fingers and uh, if you made it this far, you're on the team.